Hello Internet, I am the final boss and welcome to Slaughterhouse. It's a zombie survival game with a very interesting art style, I guess, this is the way to put it. Let's go ahead and get into it. It feels a little bit like Microsoft Paint. I thought it was kind of interesting. I think the goal is to survive like a week, but I don't see any sort of a day timer or anything. So maybe you're just supposed to survive in general? It's really kind of hard to say. I see some zombies over there in a house, but I also see a, a house right here. There is no sprint, which automatically goes ahead and gives some points off for this game. Um, be a lot nicer if you were able to move around a lot faster. Definitely whenever... Wait, is this... What is... It? Okay, either the grass is moving or this is green sludge that doesn't hurt me. I'm not sure which is cabin. Okay, um, sure. Apparently we can just shoot boards off, which I guess makes some amount of sense. Uh, there isn't anything in this cabin. Um, oh, snap. It's a, it was a deer. Am I supposed to do something with that? Oh, jeez, they're all over the place. Can I grab that? No. Okay, interesting. No, nothing I can do with the... Alright, uh, the zombies... I, I assume that's what these guys are. Take a lot of hits. I see something over in the distance over there. I see they're kind of... Wait, am I moving a lot faster whenever I'm moving at an angle? I think I'm moving a lot faster whenever I move at an angle. That is, that's interesting. It seems like these zombies come out of the toxic sludge area and it seems like they're starting to come out in mass. This looks like something that will explode and I want to blow it up. Um, well, that was a drastic change. Just went directly to night, the fucking, Music changes? What is this? Oh, it's like a bunker. Oh, it's a bus. Okay, that's a... I see it. I see it now. I see that it's a bus now. Um, I I also... Whenever you make a survival shooter, I feel like your best option is to uh, include more than two guns. I don't know if there is more guns. I haven't played any further yet, but... Judging by what I saw on the Game Jolt page, it looked like there may have only been the two guns. And that's that's fine. Um, also, uh, not having infinite ammo makes it a bit more interesting in terms of survivability. So there's also, there's also that. Uh, overall, it doesn't seem like too bad of a game. I mean, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in playing it. It's been kind of amusing. I like how the zombies are like m mooses. Would it, or I guess they'd be more like deer, wouldn't they? I think that's an interesting idea. Okay, there we go. So there's another building. I guess we're going to just go explore this other building and then I don't know how long we're actually going to keep playing this. Wow, this pistol. The pistols, um, they shoot a very long distance. Um... I don't know how long I'm going to play it. I think we've gotten basically the entire gist of this game. And uh, overall, is that a giant spider? Ser ser wait, seriously? Oh, there, that's a red deer. Oh, the red deers are faster. I'm going to go off on a limb and say the spiders are stronger. Or maybe even... I don't know. I honestly have no idea anymore. I think we lost... Oh, the spiders only come out at night. That's interesting. Very Minecraft... Minecraftian. Oh, having uh, enemies that only come out at night. Of course, I, oh, there's the houses. I thought I had got... I thought I'd lost them for a second there. Uh, been wandering kind of aimlessly. There it doesn't seem to be much of an objective... Uh, oh no, there's a spider. Or a reason to do much of anything. Let's try and just kill the spider, see what happens. They all seem to be ignoring me, for the most part. 
Uh, are these guys still alive? Is this uh, anything I can interact with here? No, it does not look that way. I guess we're gonna we're gonna make a final stand here. We're gonna see what happens, and I'm probably well, I'm definitely going to die. Oh, we killed one of the we killed one of these spiders. That's a weird texture. Did you make that in like Blender maybe? Make your own spider texture? Ah, uh, all in all, this game really could boost from like more decent AI. <coughs> oh no, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I had to stand there for a while before the uh, the moose would actually attack me, and that's a little a little bit of a problem. Whenever the threats in the game aren't really even threats. I uh, can't jump off the side of the world. Well, it's been like six minutes and I'm pretty sure we've we've got it. Um, all in all, I'd say that this is uh, about a C for if I had to give it a grade. It's not bad. It's It was fun to begin, but now it's just kind of kind of a little bit boring I guess uh, it was really easy the AI wasn't super what is going on here object reference not set to an instance of an object. I don't know what that is uh, in reference to but I'm interested to see what uh, what, what games you're making in the future it's per this is pretty good it just could be a little bit better so uh, thanks for making the game and thanks to everyone out there who is watching. Uh, oh, did I fall through the map? Oh, that's creepy. Um, thanks to everybody who's watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.